During the course of our study, we frequently repeat that time is needed in order to achieve transformation. Is it truly so? Or maybe, if a person is ready for the change and is honest with himself, perhaps he doesn't need that much time after all? There is just an impression that, in reality, everything happens much faster than we are ready to perceive and accept, and the time is being spent on not the transformation in its essence, but rather on the genuine rejection of delusional perception. Yes, colleague. You are right and wrong at the same time. When we enter the process of magical transformation, we never know what we are about to face, meaning that our own consciousness is not known to us. Everything we see is just a tip of an iceberg. Thus, everything we come in contact with the surrounding world is just a leaf on a tree, and all the rest is hidden from our attention. It is submerged part of an iceberg that is the other side of a tree. These are the rest of the leaves that can't be seen, but they do exist. The relationship between the known and unknown is ultimately the same. When the transformation starts occurring, we are as if exposing the unknown aspects of our own selves. Why does it take so long? Because we never know how much more we still need to expose. Which part of the iceberg still remains submerged? What number of leaves are yet unexplored? What else remains not understood on this tree of reality, which is your consciousness? Therefore, I say that this is a long process, and as a rule, it is always a long one, because your own mind, your own consciousness, here and there would come up with more surprises for you, especially those that you are not even familiar with. Getting rid of your illusions is the right step. It is a part of the process of studying your own self. But in magical practice, in magical skill, one should be capable of everything, including getting rid of illusions or creating them, distinguishing or spreading them around. Getting rid of illusion is an abstract thing one can do for for the rest of their lives, up to infinity. It's very entertaining and extremely long. Under transformation, we understand a slightly different concept. With the exposure of the unknown comes a different point of view at whatever remains, and that is transformation. And when your point of view changes, what is already apparent gets integrated. And after such integration, a more hidden area is being exposed, and so on. And this process is endless as well, but its effect is slightly different. Getting rid of illusions helps you to sober up, while the transformation leads to wakefulness. That would be my answer to you.